Welcome to today's Trap Study of Realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyakilome, Sunday, 17th January 2021, recognizing our authority in His name, and had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 There is so much that we can do when we take advantage of our authority and dominion in Christ. Too many Christians have been too quiet about many things, living as though they are victims alive. No. Take charge. You are in office. You are seated with Christ in the place of power, in the position of authority. You have his dominion, it's yours by right. So use it. Make things right in your life, in your home, in your ministry, job, business, city, nation, etc using the name of Jesus. That name is greater than every government or institution, name or title that could be conferred both in this world and in the world to come. Jesus Christ is Lord over all and the God of all flesh. With this knowledge, you can and should put a stop to the uprisings, wars, epidemics, wickedness, Peru, and havoc the devil concoct and attempt to wreck around the world. Putting a stop to these things is simple. Use the authority and the power of his name in prayer. The message translation gives an excellent rendering of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 to 22. It says, God raised him from the dead and set him on a throne in deep heaven, in charge of running the universe, everything from galaxies to governments, no name and no power exempt from his rule, and not just for the time being, but forever. He is in charge of it all, has the final word on everything. This is extraordinary. However, he is not in charge and ruling if you do nothing. The way he runs the earth and sets things in order is through us, the church. We are his seed prolonging his days. He rules through us. When you speak, is him speaking. When you take action against the forces of darkness and wickedness in your nation, that is him taking an action. Satan has no chance if you recognize and take advantage of your position and ability in Christ. The glory and power you wield in his name. Even now, use that authority, declare in the name of Jesus the specific changes you want in any area of your life and you will have a testimony. Blessed be God. Confession I am seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above all the hardship, troubles, perils, and corrupting influences in the name in the world, 
I dominate and triumph over circumstances today. Christ reign and rule through me. His dominion and righteousness are expressed through me. Blessed be his name forever. For that study, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5 to 6. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear unto all. Have a blessed day.